Hey, this is Philip, and I'd like to show you five different ways to efficiently search up your data, find what you're looking for on your 3D experience platform. And we ought to start with what sources of data can we search through? The first and most important one is a collaborative space. This is where all of your data managed content goes. So any CAD file, anything that you create through an authoring app, whether that's XDesign, SolidWorks, or even the bookmarks editor. The second one is communities. Any 3D swim community content of any kind. So this could be a post or an image inside of a post, something like that. And the third one is 3D Drive. This is just simple, unmanaged cloud storage space. It could even be installed inside Windows Explorer. You can really put any type of file in here, but maybe not as important or as large as what you'll have inside of collaborative spaces. Now I'm coming from SOLIDWORKS and there is one more complication of vocabulary that you should know about, which is the naming of the SOLIDWORKS components once they're saved into 3D Experience. What you're gonna see mainly is CAD families and physical products, but SOLIDWORKS are really made up of three components. Even in Windows, we might think of this as a top level component that stores our metadata, who modified the file, Windows information. Then kind of the body data itself that holds all of the SOLIDWORKS parametric info, all of the features, and then finally display data. That's kind of what you see in 3D Experience. We see a CAD family, which is kind of like a top level container file. Then a physical product, which corresponds to any configuration. And then a 3D shape, which you might not even notice, but if you want to do something like view a file with 3D play, that's really all you need, so it makes things like that fast. So it allows us to do a lot of cool data management things by breaking this up and into these three components and allows a, a for quick performance like things like 3D play when all you need is a component of the data. So for any SOLIDWORKS file, you're gonna see one CAD family and you're gonna see a physical product for every configuration that that file has. Either one of them you can open up, drag and drop and, and use. I tend to use physical products the most and I just gotta remove CAD families from where I need to see them, but you could go either way. And I think 3D shape you will notice the least. So let's get into some of these examples of searching. And I'm going to switch over to my 3D experience platform where you're looking at one of my dashboard layouts where I've got a bookmarks editor on the left. I've got a 3D play file viewer on the right and a couple of minimized apps that I use down here at the bottom. And I want to start up kind of a standard search. The first one would be searching by part of the name or something in the file name that you know about it. You need to initiate the search with some word. Now this could be even who made it, what date, it's really a deep context search and the top search box up here just says the word search in it right now, nothing else. So I know someone, a colleague of mine was working on a, a Baker transmission. See I've searched up recently so I'm just going to type in part of that word and hit enter and this launches the 3D search app. I didn't need to go launch the app on its own, I just brought it up like this and anything including the word Baker has appeared. Now one thing is I've got mine in a data grid layout. This is what I like. It's over here on the right where you can filter this to not just be the, the thumbnail view that you might have started off in or perhaps a tile view that does show you a lot more information. I prefer the data grid view so I get this a little bit more uh, compacted inside of here. And now that I've searched this stuff up, I'm going to filter it down. That's what everything on the left side of the screen is going to let you do. Search something up and filter it down. For me, I have multiple collaborative spaces, so I might look at one that just I have or one that I'm sharing with another colleague. And when I click on one of these, it applies that filter and just filters down to just those 21 items. I can click on that again or I can remove it here at the top by just clicking the little X to get that, that uh, type off of there. You can also search up tags here as well, but any tag that's relevant is going to be listed down here below. So you could do something like search by modification date, or maybe just look at the owners of files. I'll just take a look at Jared. He just has not the files themselves, but some uh, markup and approval tags. Or I could remove Jared and just look at items from me. And here I've got um, the files themselves. You could search, uh, you could order by type here. So maybe I'm just looking at uh, physical product versus CAD family. And same in the filters over here. I could say, you know, I just want to see uh, physical products maybe instead of, you know, all types. So it's a matter of searching and filtering down. Now, one thing I want to add over here is this info button. 
And you can get this as well if you use the drop down menu or if you right click on one of these. The info button will essentially show you more properties of the file that you're looking at, you're searching up. So I can see that is the Baker transmission I was going for. I can see all sorts of information about it. And one that I really like here is relations. Now there is a relationships app if I use the drop down menu or open something up. But it's very simple here to just search something up, filter down on what I want. I'm clicking on the info button and the relations app here shows me what children it has, what members are it's a member of, really anything that's connected to it. You can even use this nice drop down menu which um, is, is a little bit different in the full app. I like it here. So I can say, hey, show me all the where used relations. And I can see, okay, this is just involved in one set of markups. Perhaps, you know, if it's going from Rev A to Rev B. And that's a quick way to find child components of things or, or where something's used. Now, once you find what you're looking for, drag and drop is how this whole uh, platform is structured. So if I just start dragging this transmission, the search menu goes out of my way. I can drop it in 3D Play. I could drop it in a bookmark here to add it to my bookmark. Now it's inside of this bookmark. Um, so you just drag from a search to anywhere else that, that you want it to be. All right, the second way you might get into searching, the most, next most common way, is when you're opening something up inside of, say, an X app. So I'm switching here over to an X app tab where I've got X sheet metal, and I'm just going to hit open. I've got my recent documents there as well, but when I hit open, it immediately takes me to the search uh, app, full screened, and shows me only content that could be opened inside of X sheet metal. So I'm no longer seeing like uh, bookmarks and, and community posts, just things that make sense to open inside of there. And again, I can filter down by what type of item it is, maybe whose it is, where it's from, uh, what date. At the bottom here, there's even more tags. And these can be really nice. Two I want to show you. One is CAD Master. So do I want to see SOLIDWORKS files, or maybe I just want to see files that originated in 3D experience. So these are things that came from X Sheet Metal or X Design, something like that. Um, for the SOLIDWORKS files, I also like Context Structure. Content Structure here has four areas to it, leaf, standalone, intermediate, and root. Again, this is a bit of vocabulary for 3D experience. Uh, but if we're looking at root, that's actually top level assembly. So root is the top level. Intermediate would be a sub-assembly of that top level. Uh, standalone, we're just looking at a part that is not used by any assembly. So just a standalone part. Um, and then a leaf uh, is a part. So the part could be used by an assembly, but just a part there. So another way to, to filter down those pretty nicely. But here, once you've found what you're looking for, get down to the item that you actually want to open up there is an ok button to open this inside of the app itself so the open button can be a, a reasonable way to do this as well all right let's talk about the third way that i like to do searches especially when i'm setting up something like a dashboard layout here i'm back on my data management dashboard layout and i might want to only look at something like simulations i'm working on in this type of search, I can use the drop down menu. Maybe let's just um, repeat a past search inside of here. So I'll search up Baker, or um, what might be good is to search even SLD ASM. Just look at SOLIDWORKS assemblies. Or if you're wondering about more items like that that you could search up, we could look in the drop down and do the help on type shortcuts. So when you're searching uh, for there, what types of items can you actually? Just start typing and searching, and you can learn this way. SLDASM is going to show you just uh, SOLIDWORKS assemblies. But what I'm going to look at here is for uh, physics simulations. Let's just type in, that's a, a, a type of file, physics simulations. If I type in the word physics, I'm starting to get the names of those, but I'm not getting every type of physics simulation here. I really want to see all of them that are available to me. So from the drop down as well, I'm going to choose my content. Now, a My Content search shows me everything that's mine, everything I own, everything that's kind of available for me to see. So there's a lot of things that I can filter down from here. I know that the type of file I'm looking for is simulations or physics simulations. So I'm searching up that tag there and just clicking on physics simulations. Here I've got 38 of them that are available to me. 
And over in the top right of this search, I can choose Pin to Dashboard. Now, I was on the data management dashboard is ready already, so I'll go ahead and add it there. The great thing about these pinned searches is they're live. So here I am back in the dashboard. I can close the, the tags out of here. It's the same one we were looking at. I've just added this pin search to the top. And if new simulations are created, they're going to show up here, and I'm suddenly going to have 39, 40 results. So these are always really nice to have a, a live filter. If you're working on an assembly, instead of just having it in the bookmarks editor, you can search things up and have a pin search that's always filtered down the way you want it to um, and is a live search. And you might notice on this pin search, there is a blue filtered symbol that is turn on because this search is filtered down. It's a my content results, but it's only showing me 38 simulations that I have inside of here. So pay attention when that blue filter is on. I want to show you another example here, another type of search by opening up 3D space. I just had this minimized down at the bottom. This is a 3D space. I'm looking at one of my collaborative spaces, and I've just got everything in here. There's a whole lot of stuff. I scroll down, it just keeps going and going, and it's all different types. If you go to the top search box again, the drop down, we can filter this to search in current tab. So now it actually says search in current tab instead of just search. And maybe I just want to look at SOLIDWORKS assemblies here. And you'll see now that this has just changed and it's only showing me SOLIDWORKS assemblies. The way I know that's on is, again, this blue uh, filter symbol has appeared in the top line of the app. So I've got that searched all the way down. So that's five different ways to quickly search your platform. The most common would be searching by maybe part of a file name and then applying the filters to get down to what you want. Simply drag and drop from there into whatever app you want to get that data into. Of course, if you're using a specific app, the open button is only going to show you uh, data that makes sense to open inside of that app. Don't forget to hit the info button when you're searching things up. Check the relationships to see what all it's connected to. If you like how you've made a search and you've, you've filtered down to just what you want to see, go ahead and pin it to your dashboard. It's going to live there and it's going to be live. So as new information comes in, if it meets those filters, it'll just show up. If you're looking at a specific tab, this is a little rare, but maybe you're inside of 3D space, you're looking straight at it, make sure to change that drop down at the top to search in current tab. And if you're just used to browsing instead of searching, try that same drop down and do a my content search. That really allows you to browse down through everything that you're an owner of. So I appreciate your time and I hope this helps.